In this video, we'll see how you can read from and write to CSV files with pandas. One of the most common ways to make a data frame is to load it from some pre-existing CSV file. Pandas has an awesome CSV reader for this, but before we use it, let's make a data frame from scratch and write it to a CSV so we have something to read. Here, I'll make a data frame called DF with three columns and a thousand rows. To write this data frame to a CSV, it's pretty simple. You just use the built-in dataframe.toCSV method and pass in a name for the file. For example, df.toCSV open parens open quotes pets.csv. By default, the file gets written to your current working directory, and if you don't know where that is, you can check it by importing OS and running os.getcwd. I'll also use os.listdir to list the contents of my current working directory. Alternatively, you can specify the file path you want to write the data to using the path or buff parameter. Also, by default, 2CSV includes the row index and the output. So if you open the CSV file in the text editor, don't be surprised to find a nameless column at the front. For me, 9 times out of 10, I don't want this, and it's easy to prevent by setting index equals false. If you look at the documentation for 2CSV, you'll find there's a ton of parameters that let you really customize the way a data frame is written to CSV. We won't go through them here since it would get boring fast, but they're pretty well documented, so I'll encourage you to peruse them on your own time. Now that we have a CSV file on disk, let's try loading it into a new data frame called pets. In this case, we'll use the global function pd.readcsv, passing in the name of the file. It might not seem that impressive, but if you've ever tried reading data from a file using a lower level language like C or C++, you should appreciate everything that's happening under the hood. Not only did pandas recognize the column names, but it also interpreted the column data types correctly without any help from us. Of course, in the real world, things don't always go so smoothly. Sometimes you'll have to steer read CSV in the right direction using some parameters like sep, to specify a value separator if your file is something other than comma delimited, header to tell pandas if your file contains column names, index call to indicate which column, if any, should be used as the row index, and use calls to tell pandas only read a certain subset of columns. Since readCSV has even more parameters than 2CSV, we won't cover all of them either but they're also well documented, so again, I'll encourage you to read through them yourself. 